Whoa. Whoa. What? Hey guys, it's going duty. I'm back with another video today. We're going to be reacting to some Nukes Top 5 scary videos. These are always great. Are they real? Are they fake? We'll have a little deep dive today and take a look. So let's just jump over to the Reaction Studio and get straight into it. Okay, so we have Top 5 scary ghost videos that are disturbing. I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. I'm actually live right now on twitch.tv forward slash do your rhino because I don't know if you've seen these videos that I do before, but I'm always like, oh, I'm home alone. Why am I doing this? I'm so scared. So I thought I have a few people here with me watching it along so that I have a little bit of company so I don't have to be absolutely terrified by myself. Okay, let's begin. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Highway horror. Here Late one go. Sunday evening, Mitch Kuhn and his parents are driving down a busy highway near Sydney, Australia, when out of nowhere they have an absolutely unnerving encounter. Mitch captured the hair-raising moment with his dashboard camera. The f Mitch what? explains that he was shocked when out of nowhere a child appeared right on the busy highway in front of him. He says that the child looked no older than six and seemed to be wearing a blue coat. Mitch Kuhn's mother quickly calls the police to warn them about the lost child randomly walking on the highway. After hearing nothing back, 45 minutes later, Mitch calls again to offer his dash cam footage. But the officer on the phone informs him that the child has been found and that the footage isn't needed. And now here's where things get really weird it's already pretty weird nooksy boy but please do continue so after being reassured by the police mitch kuhn believes that the child is safe he posts his dash cam footage to facebook and the video is picked up by the australian national news just before he continues and inevitably tells us that this kid is dead the shadow as the car approaches the shadow does look pretty legit as it goes from say 12 o'clock to nine but you've got another car to his right that is in front, which I'd imagine would cut across already. Cra I feel like there'd be more shadow. But then again, if he has given this to police, it's one thing to fake a video for Facebook or for YouTube, right? But to give it to the police? So maybe there is a lot of weight behind this one. Hmm. Reporters reach out to the police to get more information. And the police deny that they ever found the child. They say that they- Sorry? Didn't he say that the police called him to say that the, ch the child was fine? They searched the area, but no child was found, and that there were no reports of missing children in the area. So could it be that Mitch captured something paranormal on camera? And why the strange reaction by the authorities? I'm honestly just not sure. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I Hang on, let me get my head around this. So he sees this kid on his dash cam, yeah? Which looks, hmm, hmm, questionable, right? And why the strange reaction by the- Questionable, at best. Watch, ready, so now the- The shadow does move, what is it, is it, uh, full stop? Yeah. So the shadow does move, yeah? But again, I mean, this could, this could just be a frame by frame edit, right? But what's with the police calling up to be like, oh yeah, we found the kid and then, and then changing their tune unless it wasn't them that called him, but then who or what called him? That's a spooky one. That's, that's not very straightforward. At all. At all. What do we think? Let us know down in the comments or in the chat right now. I'm honestly just not sure. It's also weird how this thing just seems to glide, look. It's just like, chilling. Or is it not even moving? It's not even moving. But I wouldn't say that's a child. I'd say that's closer to like a, a, a golf bag. Hmm. Don't know about that one. A gnome? Maybe it's a mythical creature. 
me know your thoughts down in the comments. No, I guess it does move. It does move. Look, it, it comes. Does it move? So there I'd say it's 30% in the road. And here I'd say it's like 55% in the road. As in, sorry, as in this lane. As in this, say this is 100%. 100%. That's trippy. That is trippy. Oh. That is trippy. The Oregon found footage. Interesting one. Now this next video is a bit of a mystery as the source has been heavily debated on the internet. In the video, a man shows off his campsite in the woods of Deschutes, Oregon, when later that night, things just go horribly wrong. I know I've done videos myself. If you ever want a rabbit hole, yeah, just Google the National Parks of America. That's all you have to do. Google the National Parks of America. Some believe that this footage could have been recorded by Jacob Edris. Jacob disappeared in 2017 and was last seen in Eugene, Oregon after frantically calling his boss about being chased by someone. Others believe that the footage could have been shot by Chase Hove, a young man who also disappeared in 2017. Chase disappeared in the exact same area where this video was recorded. But those are all just theories. Here is the chilling video. All right, well, it may seem like a bit much, but here I am solo camping. This is Deschutes, Oregon. Well, close to Bend, Oregon. I brought the eight person tent, or the six person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time, so I thought first of the season I should pull that out, give it a, give it a go. It's about that time. Sun is setting. It's about eight o'clock. Should be dark out here in less than an hour. We can get a little bit over there to the trees. Beautiful night. Definitely gonna be turning in early though. I've been woken up by God noises. Yeah, you can hear it. It's up from that side. Sounds right outside the tent. There's someone right outside the tent. Oh my goodness. My uncle does this. My uncle does this solo camping thing. He's got a YouTube channel that's very good. I'll link it down below. I know you watch the videos, Hardy, if you're watching this one. Hello, I hope you're well. This sort of scenario, Hardy, is why I think you are one brave MF doing this by yourself. Leave me alone. Wouldn't have done that. Wouldn't have done that. Wouldn't have done that. Wouldn't have done that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Continue, please. A flashlight. I can't see a god thing outside this night vision. Jesus Christ. New underwear for Jordan? Most. Most definitely. I don't know where the f chase me off. I'm wandering the god darkness. Actually. 
So wait, isn't so this guy is missing, right? This guy is missing. Piss off. I tell you what, this has got me buzzing to return to Darren Woods, which I'm gonna do this year, guys. Gonna go back and look for the knife. Give me big Blair Witch and Slender Man vibes. Jesus Christ. Oh! I've, I've actually paused at a hilarious point. I'd, so, obviously, all right, this is fake, yeah? Established. What's going on here? Is this just like a, a friend in a in a white morph suit? I've literally paused this. I guarantee we're about to be hit. I've just seen something. This has annoyed me, guys. Sorry, one second. My webcam box uh, is outside my webcam box. There we go, that's better. Um, I, re I guarantee I've, I've, I've paused it just before the music. Ready? Jump scare music. Three, two, one. There it is. Someone or something makes an attempt to get inside the man's That tent, was scary. Makes a frantic run for it and forgets his flashlight in the process. Because it's pitch black out the... I'll tell you where I switched off with this one personally, okay, is the fact that he ran out of his tent and then just kind of started walking and was kind of okay about it. You know, if this was me, I'd have picked up a rock and I'd be running for my life or... I would be going back to the tent to cave the head in of whatever just tried to get into my tent. The man relies on the infrared feature on his camera. To his horror, whoever was trying to get into his tent is now standing nice. right in front of yes. him. And that's where the footage cuts off and the mystery intensifies. Now, some claim that the camera was found at the campsite along with his car, his tent, and other valuable belongings. But the mysterious man who recorded it all is said to have disappeared. This is quite cool. Awful, but cool. If you think about, say like what you invest in a video, okay? Your budget for a video. How incredible would it be, you know, spend a couple of hundred quid on a piece of shit, uh car that you're happy to abandon spend a couple hundred quid on a camera that you're happy to abandon never film yourself only film it from you know a pov perspective so no one knows who you are i.e so they wouldn't know whether it was you or not and then literally stage a fucking monster attack missing persons thing brilliant so whether this footage was recorded by jacob idris chase hove or neither We'll probably never know, and perhaps the footage is just a huge, elaborate hoax. Nukes, we need to have a word, mate, because some of these are, you know, I don't know. Is it real? Isn't it real? Not sure. Other ones are so hard-hittingly fake that when he says, is it just a hoax, as if he's questioning it, I understand it's a character and it's part of the brand and stuff, but can we just, can, Nukes. Look at me. Come closer, come closer, come closer. Can we just admit that some of them are fake, please? Thank you. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five... Nukes, how many times have I got to send you my my investigations? And how many times are you going to ignore me? Because I'm getting sick of it. Don't make me call you out for the next creator clash, son. Because I'll do it. The Point Pleasant Phenomenon. Point Pleasant. This is West Virginia, isn't it? Are we now about to get some moth, man? Urban explorer Chris Hill from the popular YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back for another strange urban exploration. This time Chris travels to Point Pleasant, West Virginia to search out a creepy old tunnel system that is hidden somewhere deep within the woods surrounding the city. Now the small town of Point Pleasant has seen its fair share of tragedy. In 1967, a suspension bridge over the Ohio River, called the Silver Bridge, suddenly and without warning, collapsed under the weight of rush hour traffic. 
46 people died in the tragedy, and two of the victims were never even found. The tragic event led to many strange conspiracies and legends as to why the bridge collapsed. You see, Point Pleasant, West Virginia is where the infamous folklore creature, the Mothman, was first ever sighted. Yes. There were multiple reports and sightings of a quote, large humanoid moth-like creature that occurred in Point Pleasant throughout 1967. This is the same year the bridge collapsed. Some believe that the mysterious Mothman was a harbinger or even possibly the cause of the bridge collapse. After some scouting, Chris finds the tunnel system and starts his Shush! exploration. As he presses forward, exploring deeper and deeper into the tunnels, the water starts to flow more heavily and the humid fog rising from the stream makes it hard for Chris to breathe. Many miles into the tunnel, it seems that Chris reaches a point that few other people have ever even explored as wow. there is not even any graffiti. Tunnels, man. Why do people go into a place like that? Dr. Luther, I was literally then about to say, I want to find a tunnel system for a video. Eat on the tunnel wall. By the way, scoped out a new building, an asylum, abandoned. Video should be coming soon. Balls. And this is when things start to take a terrifying turn. I'm hearing a lot of noises down here. Hopefully that's the end of the tunnel. Is this, is this a sewage pipe tunnel? Is he walking through human shite? Don't make me jump. Or something. Chris hears a chilling sound coming from somewhere in the tunnels right behind him. He walks back to check it out, but he finds nothing there. The worst thing is about this, let's get it straight, is that came from the direction he just came from. Even though Chris is a little shook by what he just heard, he is still determined to press onward to find the end of the tunnel. Because he's an absolute geezer. And then he captures something absolutely terrifying. What? 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 I you fucking dare. What? 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 You can What? Excuse my language. What? Oh. Look at us. There's loads of them. The moth people. Two strange figures can be seen peeking out at Chris before disappearing back into the tunnels. Chris says he could barely see anything through the fog on the water and was unaware of what his camera captured at the time. He says that he simply continued down the tunnel and never saw anything that could explain what he had filmed. So what do you think is going on here? Could these mysterious figures have anything to do with the countless Mothman sightings in Point Pleasant? As always, I leave it to you someone with like to decide. Putting their arm Meanwhile, out. So we're going to put it on pause here for part one. Part two will be coming out next week. I hope you look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you very soon. Sweet one. Geese.